competition started on Thursday at the Affiance Ground in Essequibo, where the home team, winners of the last tournament in 2023, defeated Demerara by seven wickets. On Friday, the action moved to the LBI Ground East Coast Demerara, with Demerara seen batting here against perennial arch rivals Burbis. Chairman of the Competitions Committee of the Guyana Cricket Board, Sean Masaya, acknowledged the significance of the tournament in helping to shape the next generation of players. He pointed out that it gives the governing body a gauge of the talent pool and the work needed to elevate the players so they can make a seamless transition to the ensuing age groups. Actually, this whole tournament was initiated by the President Bissundi Singh, as you know, a couple of years back, and we had a couple bilateral tournament. And this year brings another um, feature for the youngsters, of more for development than, than anything else, because we see that there is a need for the under-13 at this level, going into the under-15. So really and truly is more about development. We want to see you know, who, who is who with the youths coming, going forward. Messiah said the ideal is to have these youngsters play more competitive cricket, be it at a club, association or county level. This, he firmly believes, will help in refining the raw and natural talent that currently exists as this age group will serve as a feeder to the under-15 program going forward. There's a lot of talent, I could tell you, a lot of talent, but there is much more need for more games to be played with this level of the um, competition, right? That these youths need a lot of playing, a lot of matches, you know, to in order to bring out their, 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 their skills, their skill talent, and so they have a lot. Coach of the Burbies team, Winston Smith, endorsed the move to integrate the under-13s into the inter-county program. He views this as a proactive move that can only serve to enhance the development of the game. I think it's a very good initiative from the Guyana Cricket Board standpoint. Um, if our young cricketers can learn their craft at that early age, I think we'll be able to do better at the international level. When they start the age at this age, is, I think it's the right age. Um, their biomechanics is much better. Um, they're learning. Um, and having the experience at age 13, I think they develop better because you realize some players reach international level and the basic fundamentals of the game, they don't have it. So if we start our cricket at this age here, I think it's good. Smith, who has been closely aligned with the youth program in Burbies for a number of years, touched on the progress being made in the county at this particular age group. Well, the talent there, I think it's tremendous. Um, we're looking at a lot of aspiring fast bowlers, a lot of spinners. Um, I have a lot of confidence in these young guys here because they recently graduated from a cricket academy and they're from some of the top clubs around that is producing regional and national players. So each one of these youngsters, they're emulating somebody in their club. The competition will wrap up on Saturday with the third and final round at the LBI ground featuring Burbis and Essequibo. Reporting for Newsroom, I'm Avanash Ramsay.